welcome back to my bathroom. Today we're kicking off a new series, a hair color series. This very high quality production is going to take you through everything you need to know on how to correctly color your hair by yourself, on yourself. Also, if you're joining me from cosmetology school or you just need a refresher, I'm going to be referring to the Milady Standard textbook volume 13. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Brittany. I'm a hairdresser of 13 years and I've been teaching for the last seven. Teaching people how to have fun. <laughs> Now here I am on the YouTubes. So episode one is today and we're talking all about scientific brushing. This has everything but nothing to do with hair color at the same time. Scientific brushing, which I'm pretty sure is like a really old hairdresser, old-ish hairdresser term, because I couldn't find it in the new Milady book. I don't know about it. I've always referred to it as scientific brushing is basically just a way of brushing the hair to stimulate the scalp. Hair stimulation. That promotes hair growth and you can use a product or no product, which we'll demonstrate and go over later. In my opinion, it's really important to start with this topic because if you have bad hair, you're going to have bad hair color. Your hair's integrity is really, really important. So your at-home maintenance is key in having good hair color. I personally am on a hair reset right now. If you'd like to join me, we can reset our hair together. And basically what that means is I'm going to be staying away from all color with the exception of when I'm showing you color on myself for these educational videos. But as far as like my root maintenance, for the time being, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm not going to apply any heat on my hair. I'm not going to be styling it with any styling tools. So basically for at least 30 days, I'm just going to wear my hair in these braids. I find it easier just to do this. Also, I kind of have like a mullet haircut, so that helps with that a little bit. I would highly encourage you to consider a hair reset. Just summer is the perfect time to do this because you can always just act like you're going to the pool. I'm wearing my hair like this to go to the pool. I'm not going to the pool. So to circle back to this, we need to have good hair in order to have good color results. So taking a break is needed and this is one of the first things that I always do anytime I reset my hair. And it's actually quite relaxing. Pretty much for scientific brushing, you're just brushing your hair. Remember Marsha from the, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha from the Brady Bunch, she would brush her hair like a hundred times or whatever. That's basically what we're doing. You want to do this on dry hair. You can use this with or without product. If you're not going to use a product, I would recommend waiting until your hair is really oily. The goal is to get that natural oil from the scalp and bring it downtown to the ends. If you want to incorporate a product, a good one to use is just basic coconut oil. Sometimes I use this product, the Ordinary Multipeptide Serum for Hair density. Also a good oil is Olaplex number seven. So what you're going to do is take a brush. So this is a wet brush. This is not my first choice. My first choice is a tech, is it a tech T E K brush. I'll put a picture up here, a wooden brush. I have one, but I also have children and they steal all my stuff. I have no idea where it is. You're going to take your brush. You're going to put it on the scalp and you're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now the amount of pressure you apply is up to you, but it's also important to note that if you're doing this on a client, that you do a visual run through of the scalp. If your client or if you have open sores, cuts, abrasions, bruises, wounds, whatever, I've seen it all, lice, do not proceed with this service. The scalp looks good, go ahead. Okay, so my scalp is fine, I'm sure. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Pretty good pressure, because I like your rough. And then you're going to just bring it down and you're going to repeat bring it down what you're doing is stimulating the scalp or penetrating the scalp getting that oil and bringing it down also important before i forget you do want to sanitize your brush before and after you do this because it's going to produce a lot of oil on this brush because you're kind of releasing that oil from the scalp and if you're like me i have I don't know what the technical term is called, but I have it all over my, like my legs are the worst, but I also have them on my hair scalp. Trapped hair follicles, where you almost have to like do this to break it open. It's like there's a layer of skin that grows under them or over them, and they need to be broken through, they're trapped. So I need like a really good tea tree treatment, possibly. Now my hair is not too oily today, but normally it is. So I don't know what happened here, but I'm gonna go in with this Ordinary, and it's not an oil base. It actually dries pretty quickly, but I'm just gonna put it here at the scalp. I am, like, I'm going to Panera after this. Otherwise, I would add actual oil, but I want to sleep in this. But if I wasn't going to Panera, I'd be ordering, or not ordering, <laughs> I'm thinking about that tomato bisque. I would be putting oil on my scalp, okay? But I gotta go get that. So here we go. Got the product in. Up, down, up, down, up, down. 
then we're gonna brush it. Brush it. Brushing it through. Getting the product all through the hair shaft, through the ends. And you just keep doing this, ladies, gentlemen. Go up, go down, go to the side. You know the drill, ladies. Every direction. Keep going up. Now, if you're in a salon setting, it's really nice to offer this service and do like a Roman, ther a ro a Roman therapy, a Roman candle. <laughs> We're in the great cliffs of Louisville, Kentucky. Aroma therapy with this service, you know, put the smelling salts on their nose, turn the lights off, play the music, 30 minutes, charge a good 50 bucks. It's a really nice relaxing experience for them. Also for yourself, cause you don't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> Shut up. You should not be talking during this service. Okay, then when you get to the top here, we're really applying. This product, honestly, not my first choice to do this kind of service with, but it really does work to regrow these baby hairs around your scalp hairline area, because mine always break off, obviously, from all the bleach. We're gonna make these dark roots. It's gonna be a comeback, y'all. We're gonna make this look cool. You just have to embrace the suck. I grabbed a couple of these. Walmart has a lot of these cute, what's this brand, Time and True, these little bandanas that you could put in your hair. They're $1.97, it's in the summer section right now. But look, you could put your hair in those little braids, which these are just cornrows, two big cornrows, in a French braid style. But look, you could do like this. I mean, it's fun, hair resets are fun. We can make them fun, put in some, oh, I wish I had earring holes, but I would wear like hoop earrings. But look, see, we can make short fun, then hair looks sexy again. It's always been sexy, ladies. Okay, anyway, once you get to the top, you're just going to continue doing this. And I mean, put on a favorite show, get in the bathtub, do something fun, but give yourself, you deserve it, 30 minutes and just penetrate the scalp, ladies. Your hair is gonna thank you. Now, just because I feel like someone's gonna ask, like, can you do this with a conditioning treatment such as Olaplex number three or just any conditioning treatment? You absolutely can, but I would strongly suggest doing an oil-based product. Coconut oil, if, if all you have is olive oil, I don't really know about canola oil <laughs> or vegetable. I mean, I guess it would work. You'd have to look that up. Um, avocado oil definitely works, but some sort of oil or oil-based product. You could use like a hair shine serum, anything. This is also really good if you have dandruff. Did I mention that yet? Because it's going to help loosen those flakes. Get that snow on out of here. I would recommend trying to spend at least 30 minutes on this. Again, you owe it to yourself to give yourself 30 minutes. Take time out of your day. Give yourself the break. We all need to slow down. I'm working on slowing down myself. 30 minutes and I would sleep in this is what I normally do. Put a trash bag over your pillowcase. It makes a lot of noise when you sleep, but it's going to be okay. Because if you get, you know, oil on your pillowcase, I don't really know how to get that out. If you might know, let me know. Put a trash bag over your pillowcase and sleep in this. Another good thing to add to this is a steam cap. They're called steam caps. I don't know what they're called, but I'll put a picture up here and I'll link one below. But they're these bonnets that you wear that produce steam in this machine. It, it's much like a hood dryer, but it's steam. It helps open the pores on your scalp, the hair follicles open up, and it will help penetrate that product better. Optional, I don't even have one, but they used to have one at a salon that I worked at and it was really, really nice. I'd get under that thing before we closed <laughs> and acted like it was mine. So anyway, scientific brushing, something that's pretty much free that you can do on yourself, by yourself to help rebuild your hair. You're doing it once a week for 30 minutes in conjunction with other things that you should be doing, conditioning treatments, taking your vitamins. I wanted to show you the ones that I take um, none of this is sponsored by the way, but this is just something that really does help a lot. These are called Life's Fortune and these are the pill form. Honestly, I don't prefer the pill form. Pill form, I like the liquid form because it digests quicker, but it has biotin in it along with all the other things that you need to survive properly. 100 MCG or 333%. I would strongly suggest this or some sort of biotin product. That will also help grow your hair if you're looking for it. As far as like hair growing shampoos and stuff, I don't want to say that they're a gimmick, but most of them, what the product actually does is it swells the hair shaft. So it makes it appear that your hair is thicker and fuller, but as soon as you stop using the product, your hair shrinks down to the way it was. And most of those products, you know, they average about $50 a bottle. So it's really hard to maintain, in my opinion, a $50 shampoo, plus you gotta buy the conditioner, then they want you to buy the spray, the scalp treatment, then the brushes, then the peels, and they're calling you on the phone. 
it's too much. Really all you need to do is lay off the chemicals, lay off the heat, stop shampooing as much, conditioning treatments, scalp treatments, scientific brushing, whatever you wanna call this, and some bi biotin, and some biotin. You're gonna be okay. Try it, let me know what you think, how it works for you. Next week or next time I see you, we're gonna be going over, I believe we're gonna be doing the levels, hair color levels. So how to correctly determine what level you are in order to pick the correct level of hair color. That one's gonna be fun. I'm waiting on my swatch book from eBay to come in. So hopefully you'll be in. If not, we'll do something else. But anyway, thanks again for joining me here in my bathroom. I cannot wait to see you next time. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Make sure again that you subscribe, click the bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool.